wild hogs are a serious threat. They are dangerous and can cause harm, even fatalities. As invasive species, they devastate farmlands, resulting in significant financial losses. So in this interview, we have the pleasure of connecting with hog hunters from South Florida who went the extra mile, or rather hundreds of miles, and drove 18 hours to meet with us, but also acquired their very own board for us, specifically for the task of combating these wild hogs. These passionate hunters eagerly shared their hunting experiences, discussed the nature of hogs, and explained how having a bourbon by their side would greatly assist them in their pursuits. Stay tuned for insights as we delve deeper into their story. Well, my name is Frank. Uh, Nickname Wild Hog. Wild Hog? Yes, sir. Yeah, my name is Alfredo, and uh, we come from South Florida. I won't stop. I'm here to get what I want. I'm not lost. I'm here to make it to the... We was looking for a, for a dog. We've been looking you up for what, four months now? Yeah, pretty much. Four months we've been trying to look for these dogs. So finally we end up and we made up with you. And uh, we want to see what the board bells do on what they do on hogs. Yeah, well, the sport is, uh, we love the sport that we do. We have a bunch of other dogs in the house. Some of the dogs, they have different purposes. We use them like, uh, we have a bait dog. He go out there on the sugar cane field, find the hog. And then when we find the, ho the, the he got the hog, we release the cash dog. And uh, we, we follow the cash dog and we're gonna get the, the, the hog. We are very interested in training one of these uh, borbles to be a, a catch dog, good catch dog for us. Uh, because uh, we see a lot of potential on them. Uh, they have a very strong body. That's what we're looking for, for a very strong body dog. And uh, it looks power. like uh, it fits. We're looking for power. <clears throat> the hogs in South Florida are getting bigger. And, uh, and our bay dog, they can only stop so much. So we decided to get a good war belt. We need something, something to stop these big hogs. Our dogs are, they, they're not quite doing the job as to stopping the hogs, because the hogs are getting bigger, more power. You know, they can only resist for a while. And so we're using pit bull, but they're too small. We're doing so with more, more muscular and more, uh, they say these dogs are very smart. We need intelligent dogs because the hogs are very intelligent too. They can trail and catch at the same time. So you get, what, right, you get uh, two kills with one shot. So this is where this dog will come and play. And we're going to be hunting the cane field. We need something with power that can push through that cane. These dogs originally come from Africa. So they're, they're bred to protect and fight off lions and hyenas. So they're gonna be great for them big hogs. Huh? Look at that. He already wanna catch your hog, my papa. Yeah, he's ready. <laughs> ready to go. Yeah, he's ready. It's gonna be one of the best. Best yeah. catch dogs. <laughs> uh, it's very risky to have expensive dog. Take that expensive dog and go on a hunt, you know, because uh, uh, it's a humongous hogs with big tusks, you know, one small dog is not gonna stop this big hog. So we need a big dog that can release, you can release on that dog, hey, he's gonna stop that he's hog no matter hog. what. So that's what we're exactly looking for, a good catch dog, and I think they are pretty fast. The risk is uh, you can lose your dog in the first fight. They can hurt a dog. And these dogs are strong and powerful, they're a lot bigger than our dogs. You know, they got more resistant. They can they can reach out and grab a hog without the hog hurting these dogs. Cause these dogs are very powerful mm -hmm. compared to our dogs. We use, we use uh, 
cut uh, vest, cutting vest, cut collars. You know, you go around the neck and the one with a bib so it goes up under the chest for keeping the horse from cutting the dog. Yeah, that's the protection. That's the protection. On his chest and on the neck. Neck and chest. Because and you don't want too much protection on the dog neither because he overheat quicker. Yeah. You know, if you put too much, uh, a big vest on it, it's not going to be good for the dog because he's going to overheat faster. He's not going to perform the way you want him to be performing for you. But we, you use that, we use them best in our dog, but the dog, our dog is not powerful enough to hold the hole. And the hole most of the time drags them off. So we decided to go with this type of dog. Usually we hunt, you know, like two dogs at a time, you know, two bay dogs at a time. So what we do is, you know, we, we'll start letting him get acquainted with him, you know, start running together. Like that, he knows that that's his teammate. So whenever they stop a hog, we release him, and he gonna go straight and catch our hog. Then they yeah. come from Africa, and they they can resist the heat, you know, because it's hot in Africa. So that'd be perfect for the cane fields. We also hunt off the boat. We drove off boat or boat in the river. Once they already train, they are on the bow of the boat, and uh, they sniff the hog and they just jump off the boat and go catch the hog. And we catch the hog and we keep going. Sometimes it's not even a hundred yards, you have another hog. We don't have to go too far, you know, sometimes. And, you know, you need yeah. power. And this what these dogs, they, they got the stamina, they got the, they're very smart. The Lord, they respond real good. They're very strong, they got strength. And, Hopefully, see how this works. When we're talking about using the dog for cane fields, can't get so tall it gets up to some 12 foot. They fall over and they make a fodder. So it's harder for the smaller dog to run through there. So we decided, hey man, let's go ahead and get the Bobo because I've been reading on them. They got the very powerful upper body and they got a big bone structure. Okay, imagine a big rat comparing it to a big hog, okay? A hog is like a monster rat, okay? It's a 400 pound rat with big tusk. Imagine what a 400 pound with big tusk can do to your body or the dog body. A big tusk is like a two blades on their mouth, you know? They are one on each side like that and they can tear up anything. All the body on the hog can be tear apart in a matter of seconds. He's a like a kind of monster. It takes very special kind of dog to go to control that hog. It's a wild hog, it's not a domestic. Two knives is very comparable to the tusks on the wild hog. We gotta have very comparable dog that go there and do the job. You have very courageous dog to go there and confront the hog because this hog is not a game. He's gonna fight, he's gonna try to kill, he's not gonna go there and have a choose a fun with the dog. They are gonna go to kill. They are gonna go kill your dog and if it's possible, he run away and go try to kill you as well because they are so freaking dangerous. And uh, these uh, landowners, they don't really want these hogs around their property because they damage too much, even the livestock, like uh, cows, everything, all the crap destroyed. They really cost millions of dollars and the government should be paying to the hunters to go hunt, catch and hunt the these uh, wild tanks, you know, because they are wild tanks and you don't know what you're gonna find when you, you go there. They are very dangerous, very dangerous. Not a, it's not a game. If you're not training to do this, don't, don't try this at home. That's why we are looking for a special dog to do the job because we don't really wanna have other kind of dog. We wanna train this dog because these dogs are so big and muscular, powerful, and that's what we're looking for, a good catch dog for this wild 
yandım olsun. Pop, 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 pop,